Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. Today here, I want to show you something new that came by my office. I actually saw it at the SHOT Show. Uh, it was introduced to me uh, a little bit beforehand, but uh, this is something that, uh, you know, I looked at it and thought, wow, that's a great idea. It really is, and, and it's a, uh, a range backpack, okay? So I've got two different models to show you. Uh, this is the, uh, the tactical version. Obviously, like I said, it's a backpack. It's got a uh, waistband strap as well. Most people I see who carry these are actually carrying it by the strap right here. You're just picking it up and, and walking around with it because uh, it has all these different compartments that organize your stuff. Now, I've got a big range bag, and a lot of us do have big range bags, and the challenge with a big range bag is that after a while, everything starts to migrate all over the place, and sometimes it's hard to find uh, things inside that range bag. So, this backpack actually is a good organizer and a good way to carry your items and keep them not only organized, but protected, especially your guns and your magazines and all that stuff. So, uh, like I said, I've got the, uh, the tactical version here, which has, uh, the molly straps on it. And then I've got uh, the uh, handgunner version. And there's a couple differences uh, in the way that they handle the guns, and, and it's significant. So let me go through the first one, then I'll, I'll show you some of the differences. Uh, a lot of the concept is the same. It has a lot of different pouches to uh, hold and store your stuff. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, again, it's got molly straps on it that you can hook things onto with molly uh, attachments. So that's kind of cool. Some people like that. Some people don't like the fact that it looks so tactical. That said, uh, let's go ahead and open up the top pouch here. Boom, first pouch, nice little uh, uh, pockets in here. Got a big zippered pocket for say, uh, well, maybe a notepad pad or some pen, paper, that kind of thing. Uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, up here is a dedicated pocket for your glasses, your shooter's glasses, which is always very nice because uh, they tend to get scratched, you know, because they're plastic. They're not, you know, super expensive glass uh, glasses. They're plastic, and, and when it just, rolls around in your bag, they get scratched a little bit. So I actually think that's a great idea. Also has another dedicated pouch here for your ears, uh, which would be your, uh, your uh, uh, earplug types. But uh, of course, uh, most of us uh, are using the headsets. And so uh, there's a big pouch up here for a headset. All right, and so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, this pouch is big enough to carry our big uh, 50 round magazine. Just got these the other day too. Uh, this is on our website. Um, so the, uh, the pouch is a, a big drop pouch right here. And then the, the third pouch on the top, and again, what's nice, is these zippers always kind of work uh, both ways. Uh, the third pouch on the top is uh, kind of what I think is an ammo box, you know, or ammo carrier. I've got uh, 200 rounds of nine millimeter here. Uh, I could probably put another two boxes easy, uh, but I also have uh, my uh, loader, my Lula loader. And if you don't have one of these, you're gonna want one because these are awesome. Uh, this is going to save your fingers and uh, makes loading uh, a breeze. So uh, uh, what I've done with mine is actually uh, uh, from, you know, further uh, years ago, I had this uh, bungee cord and I actually uh, attached it to the, uh, uh, the top of the backpack so I don't lose it. <laughs> because, uh, you know, when this thing starts to migrate around, people want to use it and all that stuff. I say, hey, yeah, use it, just leave it there. So it always comes back. Uh, they tend to uh, get legs and, and people really like them. So um, uh, I think that's just a good idea. So again, that's the upper part of this. Now, the, what it really sold me and just made me like, okay, this thing is so cool. I got to have it uh, for myself, but also to sell it to people because it's so uh, awesome is uh, over here on this side. Uh, now again, it's got two zippers. And like I said, this thing is so cool because it opens up like so, and they've got three individual cases for guns, all right? Guns and or magazines. So uh, I've got one of them loaded up here uh, with uh, uh, my, my competition gun. And there's the gun itself, right? Okay, so there's a nice uh, 34, obviously unloaded. But uh, on the other side, I've got room for four magazines. And these are our uh, uh, Glock 17 mags with the uh, uh, six round or five round extension, uh, our double diamond uh, magazine extensions. 
they're pretty cool. And they actually, you know, are different colors and all that stuff. So, and uh, what's nice about the colors is uh, you can kind of say, okay, that one's not working well. Uh, and if you uh, really are serious, you want to label or number your uh, your magazine. So. These things, uh, like I said, there's three of them in here, and uh, each one is the same identical thing, but you can just load these up with all kinds of stuff and keep it organized. You can do have more magazines or other things in here that you want to keep in store. There's also, you know, kind of compartment back here. So this is a great option uh, for you uh, to store your stuff. Now, there's more. <laughs> On the bottom of this thing, way down here, like I said, I, I think I showed you this first pouch, or no, I didn't show you, I showed you one on the top. This one has more magazine holders, a flashlight holder, kind of a dedicated flashlight holder. You can almost put just about anything in here. Uh, it also has a little tool holder, which is kind of neat. So I've got in here really just two essential tools for a Glock. I've got our uh, front sight takedown tool. And then this is the um, uh, gun butter uh, pen oiler, which I love because it's got this little uh, needle uh, applicator bit. Let's see if I can pull this guy off here without flying across the room. And that makes it so easy to oil, oil your gun. I don't care what kind of gun it is. This thing is invaluable in my mind. So uh, these two things, always nice to know where they're at. Again, they're small. It's black. You put it in your bag, your big range bag, which is typically black, and all of a sudden, where is it? And you're digging around trying to find it. So it's nice to have them Organized. Now, the other thing that's uh, really cool is uh, this little uh, uh, kit that they give you to actually put your uh, small parts in, you know, for a Glock, like an extractor and a, uh, a striker and, uh, you know, uh, uh, some springs that may break or may get lost or even some spring cups because those get lost. And then it's nice to know that they're there and they're stored away and they're accessible when you need them. Uh, the other thing I like is uh, I carry this little uh, plastic knife, and this is just a scraper. You know, if I need to scrape something out or I need to get in there, I don't necessarily want to go in, uh, in into the gun with a steel tool, but the plastic uh, tool actually, you know, is something that I've found to be very useful over the years. And to round out this bag, uh, there's a couple other pouches on each side. Uh, this one is just a big, you know, drop pouch. Of course, it's got the mollies on the front, and then back here, same thing, like I said, on this side is the uh, is those guys. So I think there's one other box. Oh, I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah, this is it right here. This, and this comes included with all of them, is the uh, rain cover. Okay, so there's a rain cover to go over top of this whole thing. I'm not going to pull it all the way out. Uh, but you can basically see what happens. It's kind of a, an elastic piece that goes over top of this whole thing. So should it rain, keeps everybody out of it. The other thing about it, you know, is that, you know, it's a nice way to secure your backpack at lunch. So you got all your stuff loaded in the backpack, put the cover over top of it, and just set it down. And, you know, it's, someone's got to take a real big effort to take the cover off and get inside of it. So uh, that's the uh, tactical version. This um, uh, handgun version is very similar, a lot of the same pouches, a lot of the same uh, features, but the one big difference, uh, one, it does not have the molly straps on it. Some guys like that. It's a little bit less tactical. Two, the way they handle the guns in this particular one uh, is different. You can see this has one, two, three, four slots. And a lot of guys like this because you can just drop your gun right in here. Okay. And then just close it up. And that's kind of why I was leaning towards that uh, 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 tactical version because those uh, pouches to handle the gun seem to be a little bit more, well, just secure. I mean, this whole thing, again, you can zip this down. And uh, basically, once you get it zipped up, it's, you know, rock solid, you know, and it's not going to go anywhere. And, uh, you know, I think it's that this is probably the, the, the best method I've seen of transporting your gun uh, and keeping it. Uh, let's see if I can get this closed. Here we go. And keeping it secure, you know, right there. I really like that because you can use this as a separate piece within itself if you want to take it out of there. That's what I really like about the, um, uh, the tactical version. Now, this, like I said, it has the same concept up here, same type pouches, same place there. It's, the one difference got one big uh, dump pouch in the top, which would be for your ammo, as well as uh, uh, you know some of your other things. Your headsets, uh, there may be uh, the ability to put the headsets over here on this side, but it gets a little bit crowded. I mean, I can certainly fit them in here. I think if it's going to be tight to close it. Uh, uh, you know, you probably want to put your headsets up on top of your ammo or something like that, but. It's really up to you because there's plenty of storage space in both of these bags and lots of place for your magazines, uh, just like uh, the other pouch as well. So 
Uh, these backpacks, like I said, they're something that I was, you know, kind of introduced to just to, before the SHOT Show. Then I went to the booth at the SHOT Show. I saw them. I thought, man, these things are great. Uh, it's the type of thing where you can actually carry your gear all organized and all in one pouch. Boom, you're ready to go. Uh, if you want to pull the gun out separately, that's what I love about this one. You know, the, uh, the, it's called the tactical uh, uh, backpack for the, uh, uh, the, the handgun carrier, the range, tactical range backpack. And, uh, you know, if you're looking to uh, shoot competition, if you are shooting competition, or if you just want to keep your gear organized, this is a pretty good method. And we've got them here at the Glock store. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock store performance and custom shop in San Diego. If you want to see these in person, come by the shop. We've got them out there on display. And, of course, you can order them right online. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.